You sit at a table with friends trying to suss out what everyone has. The tension is building and you have a chance to toss someone out of the game with a well-placed high number. The only problem is if things come back around to you, you yourself only have high numbers and you might go over 33 and find yourself out of card game 33 and now you're the one who has to look silly in front of the family. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Murphy of the Brothers Murph and I'm here with BoardGameGeek.com. Now I need to sharpen up on my math skills so let's get this game down to the table to go a little more in focus on card game 33. Card Game 33 is a game designed to help families come together around a table and build a better foundation of simple math and memory. Each player begins the game with three cards, and in turn, players go around the table adding one card to the discard pile. Cards will have positive and negative number values on them and will add or subtract to the total respectively. There are also cards with a zero which neither add or subtract to the total on the discard pile, and the special 111 card can be used as a 1 or an 11, and the plus or minus 10 card can be used to add or subtract to the total as needed. When a player places a card on the discard discard pile, they announce the new number value based on the cards played in the discard pile. The important thing to keep in mind is that at no point may you play a card that causes the total to exceed 33. If you do, you're out of the game and your family now gets the distinct pleasure of making you do something silly, provided that it's not too unreasonable. Once a card has been played, the active player will immediately draw a new card from the deck so they once again have three cards. If the draw deck ever runs out, simply flip the discard pile over to reform the draw deck. Players continue playing cards until someone gets knocked out by playing a card that brings the sum total over 33, knocking them out of the game. Card Game 33 is an easy way into working on addition and subtraction with the whole family. The game is designed to be played quickly so folks can play multiple rounds with a bit of silliness thrown in for the player who gets knocked out of the game. And if you're looking to work on your math skills with your family, you can learn more about Card Game 33 at cardgame33.com, and you can always look for Card Game 33's page at boardgamegeek.com. And until next time, I'm Mike Murphy, I've been here with Board Game Geek, and we've been going in focus on Card Game 33. Are you brave enough to play this game?